Hello, everyone. This is Azar Dondomajolu from Salona, uh, leading marketing and go-to-market activities for the last three years for the company. And honestly, having a blast. It's been a crazy last couple of years, and 2021 has been truly rewarding for everyone here at Salona. More customers, more use cases, increasing adoption of our technology, and very fast growth of the private 5G ecosystem from device manufacturers to channel partners to application developers. Uh, we're really glad to be part of this fast growing ecosystem. And hopefully we're contributing with a variety of different um, network deployments and customer use cases discovered. And I just wanted to give a prediction towards 2022 based on that experience. So my first prediction is neutral host networks. Uh, I think towards the end of the year in 2022, we're going to see this use case uh, become quite common, quite commonly discussed, pilot starting, production network deployment starting, where a private 5G installation, 4G, 5G installation, opening doors to not only enterprise owned devices, but also personal owned devices, who might be subscribers of public mobile network operators, T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, et cetera. And this configuration of a private network where these personal devices are admitted for voice and data services, it's called the neutral host use case. Very applicable in healthcare, public venues, and general enterprise, as you might imagine. Uh, this requires a little bit of partnership with those MNOs and product development and uh, as Solana, we're on track to be able to support this use case going forward. Now, this use case also demands uh, something new, a new approach, and this is related to my second prediction. I think we're gonna see coverage requirements in enterprise arise with 4G and 5G simultaneous coverage. And here's why. Um, as you expand the reach of a private network, as you start accepting neutral host users, you're going to need more bandwidth. That's where the 5G requirement will come into play. And as you expand on that usage, you're going to see a lot of legacy 4G devices as well as new 5G devices trying to get connected in the same environment at the same time. So, you know, these networks should be able to support both of those users simultaneously. So not only private use cases are covered, but also neutral host use cases are covered. And my last prediction is really around who's gonna manage all this, right? Uh, we have neutral host use cases. We might have robotics infrastructure, compu vision, computer vision cameras. We might have smart devices, smartphones, tablets, laptops, connecting to the private um, segment of the network. Who's gonna slice and dice this, this policy within the enterprise setting? Through our micro slicing technology, we actually allow that allow the enterprise network managers do that allocation of bandwidth, latency metrics, quality of service, how that traffic flow should be managed within their infrastructure and out of the internet or when the traffic stays locally. So we do that within software, within the same infrastructure, without having to deploy a separate set of overlay networks for different use cases. Now, 5G network slicing, as defined in the 3GPP spec, actually calls for a telco network to be sliced into individual enterprises. What we're talking about here is evolution of that concept into enterprise environments where many applications within one enterprise can be sliced and diced and assigned different policies and quality of service metrics. So my third prediction is we're gonna see more and more use cases develop around our micro slicing technology and really looking forward to that in the new year. So with that, I think we're closing off a great 2021. And as a team, we cannot wait what 2022 will bring. Thanks again for watching. If you want to hang out with us some more, visit us at salona.io. Thank you very much.